Before we start opening the gotchas I found, let's check out the gotchas in this capsule box by Me Home Box. I have a few different subscription boxes and I reached out to them and asked them if they would let me check out their capsule box. I'm really, really excited to check this out because I have no clue whatsoever what's inside and I hope it's something cute. The design's so adorable. Let's open it up. Gotcha! Oh. And then look at the box. It's like a gotcha machine. That's so cool. Looks like there's some sort of covering. Oh, that's cute. It's like a little background. You can take pictures with this. And then I'm gonna assume these are spoilers. So it's capsule box. Oh, it's in French. Oh, it says spoiler alert right there. Good. Let's not look at that. Capsule box. We can look at this at the end. And then there are six different gotchas in here. And a little, a little bonus. Here, here, pine. Oh, it's gum. Yum. And then the gotcha capsules. Ah! Let's check them out. First one. How do I open this? Right here. Oh, it's a little Kirby figure? It's cute. Okay, okay. I like this. Hoshino Kabi. Kopi no Ryoku figure collection two. How have I not seen this before? This is adorable. I think I got bomb Kirby. There's angel, fire, and tornado. I love that it comes with a little stand. How cute. Next one. Looks quite chunky. I'm not sure what it is. Oh, is that a koi pond? Wait, that's kind of cool. Let's take a peek. Niwa Ike Yard Ponds. Mascots. Oh my goodness, koi, koi, turtles, frogs, and lotus. Oh, that's pretty cool actually. You have a little pond on your desk. I think this is koi too. Oh, that's really nice. There's like a resin in there. Shiny, watery surface with the koi, mossy rocks. It's very plasticky, but very well made. I like that. I would say that's another win. Next, we have a little capsule. I see the, the paper in here. It says Sword Art Online. Progressive. I'm not caught up on Sword Art Online. I've only seen the first two, like the original storyline and then but I think this is is this Asuna it is isn't it oh this is Asuna cape version how fancy let's put the stand together Asuna cape version this is actually really well made for being such a tiny figure I like that I do kind of want Kirito to go with it now though Here's the lineup, Kirito, Kirito coat version, Asuna, Asuna cape version, and Mito. Next! Uh, this looks like a bathroom, like a bidet thingy. I'm very confused. It comes with a little foam sticker too, so I guess you can put it on the wall. Does it make noises? So a lot of Japanese bathrooms have these little panels that you can press. That'll play music when you're going to the bathroom, or it has like a little bidet and little shower spray thingy. It looks like it's just one button. Let's pull this out and turn it on. It says, when are you gonna let it out? You should do it now. This is a very famous quote, phrase here in Japan. It says, when are you gonna do it? You should do it now. It only has the one sound, but the buttons are really cool. It looks like a real like bidet panel that you find in bathrooms here. You know what, Capsule Box? Whoever is picking out your gotchas is doing a really good job. You have a really nice selection. Tokyo Revengers, Kapu, Kapu, Go Friends. I have not watched Tokyo Revengers yet. I started the first episode and I couldn't get into it, but it's so popular. I feel like I kind of have to maybe power through because I assume it gets more interesting. I'm not sure, but I really would like to watch it. 
I don't know who this is, so you guys are gonna have to tell me. It's a really cute plush. You put this on your bag. It's a little, little bag mascot. And the last one. Looks like it's a button of some sort. If I can figure out how to open it. There we go. Oh, it's, um, not a doll. Wait, this design is really cute. It's like a little chibi style. Let's look at the lineup. It's called a, oh, it's a Hello Kitty collab. That's why it's so cute. It's a hologram kambaji collection. Look at that art, I love it. And there are nine different ones you can get, so many different designs. That's really, really cool. Capsule box, I really like you. It's the first time I've checked out their box, but there was not a disappointing one in there. Da -da. Here are all the gotchas I got. Let's let's start with the Sanrio one. I saw this one on I think Twitter when it came out, and I thought it was really cute. And I thought about getting the full set, but I like being surprised. We love the blind box element of gotchas. Here's the figure. Aw, little ghost Hello Kitty with her hands out. Her paws out, I guess. And then... The little ghosty. And... Jim! That's pretty darn cute. You can see the little eyes through the sheet. It doesn't really snap together or anything. Oh, I guess it does stay. That's cute. So she can be a little ghost for Halloween. And the rest of the year, she can just be the little figure. Adorable, I kind of want the My Melody one now. Do I go back and try for more? I usually go for the cutesy gotchas, but you all ask for some weird ones, so. I think these are still cute, but they are kind of weird. <laughs> so this is Kaze ni mo makezu, which comes from Ame ni mo makezu, Kaze ni mo makezu. And it says mascot figure two. This must be the second series. And obviously there are dogs and cats being blown in the wind. Jung! Is the little pug or is this a bulldog? I mean, it looks a little bit bigger than a pug, huh? He's so ugly! But in a cute way. In Japanese we call it busukawa, which means ugly and cute. <laughs> Look at the skin rolls. That's funny. This is definitely a set that looks better together. Standalone is kind of like... What's happening? Is it a bulldog though, or is this a pug? The tail's like a pug tail, right? The little cinnamon roll? Actually, we can just check the paper. We have an Afghan hound, standard poodle, pug, sabatora, and Himalayan. The cat's are really cute. I like this series. Next, we have what seem to be vegetable animals. I think I got the one that I wanted. This one looked really cute. They're called vegetable fairies. Lenkong, Nappagu, or Kong, like Kitsune, because foxes say Kong Kong in Japanese. And then Nappagu, it's Nappa. Lukkoara, it's Lukkora with Koara. We have Wasabiba, like Wasabi, Wasabiba. And then Cabbage Frog kind of funny. So we have Leng Kong Kong and it has a lotus flower for its tail. This one's adorable. I love foxes. The coloring's cute. There's a weird line going through its body but we're gonna ignore that. The little lotus flower tail. The face. I love it. I think I got the one that I wanted. Here's another one that I thought was hilarious and you guys may have seen but it looked like a lot of the same ones in different colors so I think I only needed one. But it looks like it's a little rabbit who dropped its ice cream. And I got it in a really cute color. It's called Subete ga Oshimai ni natta usagi mascotto figure. So it's a rabbit in a fursuit, I guess. <laughs> or, you know, a person in a rabbit fursuit. Oh, the purple one is cute. And honestly, all of these lined up in a row would look kind of adorable. There's a mystery one. I'm pretty sure mine's the blue one. It's a little teal, but I don't think it's the mystery one. I actually kind of want the purple one now. This bunny doesn't look creepy at all. Let's put his ears on. He looks like, um, bunny from 
Toy Story. Couldn't think of his name for a second. That face is kind of creepy, but he is obviously sad that he dropped his ice cream, which is melting on the ground. I love silly and stupid figures like this. I think he's gonna live on my shelf. Last one is Arupaka for alpaca, but paka is the sound when you, it makes when you open things or when they like crack open, pop open. So this arupaka, I mean, you guys saw the machine. How derpy and cute is that? Anyway, as I was saying, this arupaka goes paka. And, oh my goodness. I mean, it's obviously extra fluffy, but it's a little like an alpaca. Do you guys know how you tell llamas and alpacas apart? Because I have no clue. Oh my goodness, I kind of love it like this. But the fluffy body is hilarious. It's like a big head of cauliflower. Anyway, that is all for today. I'm sad I couldn't find more this time around, but I will be going on more gacha hunts for sure. If you guys want to help me out, I do have a coffee. The link's down below and it does help me out. I am trying to save up to do a mega gacha phone video. Hopefully we can do one by the end of the year. And you can see on my coffee how far along we are with that. I hope you all enjoyed that video. Don't forget to check out our friends over at Capsule Box. I'll leave the link down below. You know what? This book was kind of cool. They put a lot of information in there and the graphics are really cute. Anyway, I'll see you all next time. Bye!